welcome to all of you. Welcome to the Math Circle, which is extremely peculiar because we never teach anyone anything. It's a school without lectures, without textbooks, without grades, without tests, without homework. What does it have left? Math and the beauty of it and collegial conversation, never competitive. People, a very small group of people always, 10 is about our maximum with a leader. All the leader does is put an accessible mystery in front of them, an accessible mystery, something which really leads behind appearances to the underlying structure. Our book, The Art of the Infinite, has 10 of those mysteries in it. Hidden structure, which it takes a lot of imagination, goodwill, conversation with one another to uncover, to come to grips with, and still have doubts at the end, but informed doubts. Our motto, well, one of them is learning to speak our lost native language, but another is, tell me and I forget. Ask me and I discover. And not only do the students in the math circle teach one another and me what that hidden structure is in their discoveries, but they come to admire one another and to have self, their own self-esteem increased because they're not being told things, they're discovering them. But look, what am I doing? I'm telling you things. This is wrong. You should be discovering for yourself what the math circle is. So let's give you a demonstration. Let's, guys, here's the question. I'm going to draw a, a grid, a five by five grid. By a grid, I mean kind of a, a, a chest, you know, a board. Um, of five lines. Do I have five spaces for squares? No, only four. This is weird. I need six lines to get five horizontal spaces. So I guess I'm going to need six vertical lines to get, how many squares do I have? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Am I doing this? Count. <laughs> <laughs> I was counting. I, I, didn't you hear me say one, Do it two? Line by line. Just do it line by line. That would be easier. Like, you so you you're sure? Lose count, yeah. so you're like, uh, uh, you should actually uh, mark. You, you have a very orderly mind. Order. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Is that okay? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty. Again. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. I'll take your word for it. There are twenty-five. Mark the boxes. Wonderful idea. Okay. Okay. I'm going to learn a lot from you guys. If you were to start in the upper left-hand square, do I have that right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> if you were to start there and draw a line that's going to go through all the squares, each square once and only once, and never take your chalk off the board or your pen off the paper, you can only go up and down and left and right, okay? Is it possible to do that starting from here or, you know, probably not possible? Yes? What do you think? I think it's possible. You think it's possible? I don't think so. Can you take turns? Yeah, come on, show me. So can you go down and then take a turn? Oh. Fantastic. OK. I'm convinced. Thank you. That's, that's a great idea. Thank you. Do you agree? Yes. That's the only way you can do that. That's terrific. No, Samuel, what? Um, you can go. You, you, come on, show me. OK, all yours, Samuel. Oh! Oh, that's neat. You're going to have to get to the... Oh, you got to the middle one. Terrific. Terrific. Thank you very much. So there are two ways of doing it. Yes, Petra. There's more. 
<laughs> Come on. Really? You're saying there's a third way? Yeah. Yes. If she goes this way, then you can also go horizontal. Oh. You're doing it kind of in the ro rotated way. Mm -hmm. It's a Diaz thing kind of rotated 90 degrees. Beautiful. There are three. There are th there's more. Wait a minute. Wait. There's Daniel, there's Daniel. <laughs> How many ways are there going to be? Um, so probably over 100. Over 100. Over a hundred. There's a lot. Nathan, did you calculate this or? No. <laughs> Could also go. No, I'm sorry. I should have said can't go diagonally. Only up and down and left and right. Oh. It was a br brilliant idea. I like diagonal lines, as a lot of you know, but not here. <laughs> I'm going to leave, uh, leave out this one and then cover that and then cover that and then do it like that. And, yeah. wait, if, wait, wait. Show me, Daniel. Without the diagonal. Okay, so, so, you, uh, so you go diagonally down, and you stop here. Right. And then you, uh, then you go up, and then you go like that, and then you Could you do like that without down. using a diagonal, but with an up and down motion? Yes. Is you that could. possible? Try, try it. So, uh, try it. Yeah. Down all the way. Mm -hmm. Right one. Mm -hmm. Up. All the way. Right one. There's, oh, there's right also, two. There's also tons of way of doing tons of ways of doing it. Is this gonna work? No. Wait. No. Why not? Oh, no, no, I I should have no, no, not not that. Here, oh okay, there we go. So there I go like this. Just a minute, you, uh, I I erased the line you want. You wanna connect that back up there? Yeah. Oh that's nice. You've got a kind of a crenellation of a castle. And then no, you, you said like that. Yeah. One, two, three, Sorry. four, five. Like that. And then you uh, I think one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You were right. This is an extra box of mine. No, it's, just no, it's not. Okay, then, it's then not? go ahead. Go ahead. It's going to work. I think. Did I do this one? Go, go ahead. It's an E. It's a double F. Oh, you want an E? The letter E. Oh, I, you can take go, 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 go up. Go up. Turn. turn. Now what? What about this one? Is that a box? Uh, go ahead. Up. Okay. No. Do, they, do they all have to be? But you see, you leave this Do they all have to be what? No, 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 no. Go left. They, do, wait, wait, you had a good question, Leah. Do they all have to connect? They all have to connect. It has to be one continuous line. Yeah. I think this is really nice, Daniel. D does his work? I could have started from the beginning by doing that. So there are multiple, you can do it, you can go on forever just explaining how many ways there are. Wait a second, Nathan says 100, you say forever. Well, I mean, it's, it's about 100. About 100, well, which is more or less forever. He was, a deal. well, a lot. Fantastic. A lot. Well, hold on to it. Okay, Daniel, this is great. Thanks a lot. I will remember. Will you remember, Daniel? How about Dia Asher Petra? No, I, I, oh, I, Petra. So, um, the question is, how many how many ways can you draw a line through all the boxes? That's a question. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure I knew the question. Yeah, I'm not sure it's the question. It's it's one of the questions that that I thought of, and you've got, come up with fantastic answers. One, two, no, three, no, four, no, 100, no, an infinite number. Um, Asher and then Leah. While I'm doing this, think to yourself, besides the question of how many ways are there, we know there are at least three or four. There might be 100. There might be an infinite number. Mm -hmm. No, there's not an infinite number. Why not? Because, like. Eventually, you're going to actually, you, you'd have to have an infinite number of boxes to have an infinite number of. <sighs> what a great idea. OK. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. OK. Oh, this is like Daniel's. Oh, yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> the chalk is telling you something. I don't think the chalk likes my equation. <laughs> <laughs>
Whoa! That's great! Well, ah. <laughs> what Asher did was to combine previous ideas. That's doing math. That's taking previous, I promise I'll come to you later immediately. Uh, taking, building on these ideas together, you're, you're working collegially, it's just super, with the uh, kind of top of a castle. You see those tops of a castle? And then some straight line, right down the middle. Could it have been elsewhere? And then zip over and do the zigzags backward. It's really nice. By the way, your, your letter E is hiding in here, <laughs> okay? Um, Leia. I have another one. Different from all these? Yeah. Okay, come on up. Maybe there really are an infinite number. Think about another question besides how many you ways. Copy Sorry? When are you accidentally gonna copy one of the ones that you already did? That's such a good question. Is anyone keeping track of whether we're going to be doing something again that we did before, or your memory's so good, mine isn't, that you'll remember all the previous ones. Very good point. Um, are, are you worried that yours might be an old one? Okay. If you're pretty sure not, that means it must be a, 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 different, a different basic idea. I'm actually kind of surprised nobody did it. Okay, huh. It shows that although we all have minds, and they're all terrific, our minds work differently. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Stop for a second. Is anybody worried? No. You're worried? Yes, you're worried. Okay. I can't. Well, uh, step aside for a second. Leah. Don't, don't say why you're worried, but you, you're both worried. Anybody else worried? You're worried. I, Go ahead. I'm not, I know. I, oh, why? I actually think she's actually. Oh. <laughs> okay. You're really seeing things. You're seeing things that don't work, which kind of tells you what does work. Go ahead. Oh, excellent. You avoided the problem of having two directions you had to go in, and you could only go in one. It's beautiful. I, I do think that's new, isn't it? Yeah. OK, that is super. You guys are amazing. Yeah, Dia. I have another one. OK, come on up. Can I leave this and give you pink chalk? OK. Ah, that's nice. That's really nice. Looking at this, looking at the pink one, looking at Dia's pink one, can you automatically see another one that hasn't been done? Automatically. I Leah. I think I do. Don't come up, but tell me. Looking at the pink line, do you automatically, let me, let me recite the pink line. Start here, go right all the way, go down all the way, go across all the way, go up part of the way, up to the fourth square, and then start wiggling down and stop there. Yes, Nathan. It reminds me of uh, one right, uh, but I think you'll have to erase it if you don't have any other colors. Okay, yes, so you took part of what you did and changed it. Nice idea. Wait, actually, no, would you be there? I'm Sorry. now losing track of whether we're repeating any, things we had, any of the things we had before. Yeah. That's, that's terrific. You guys have an enormous amount of imagination because math is done with one's imagination. Let me ask you a question before you pick up. You're, you're basically running this class, not me, but I've, I've got a question. I'm going to take one of the paths I know was done, in fact, the very first one, and I'm, I want you to tell me something. Here's that first path.
I think it went like that. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Without doing anything, without asking me to do anything more, tell me a second path that's there. Yes, Dia. Um, the one, it's the same thing except if you flip it. Start, finish, instead of start, finish. Every time you draw one path, you get one more for free. <laughs> that means whether the number is two, a hundred, or infinite, it's going to have to be even. Because for every path you draw, there's the path with the end and the beginning reversed. <laughs> So, <laughs> weird. <laughs> well, that's, there are at least two paths. There are at least four. I mean, there are at least six. I mean, what do I mean? <laughs> there are at least 100. There might be 99. Yes? We have done five, and then, the, because the point you made, 10. 10, yeah. No, we've done, so we did five, we did one more, so there's 14. Compromise, 12. Or six. I've got a different sort of a question. This has worked so well, and we haven't even begun to finally settle on how many times you can do it, starting here. Is there, this is a weird question, is there any other place you could have started that would have worked at all or as well? Leah? You can start from the top right corner. Start here. How do you know that's going to work? Well, you can just go the opposite way and go all the way down. Terrific. Possible start, possible start. Petra. Start from the center because it's <gasps> a spiral and if you... Hey, that's wonderful. We had a, a path that ended in the center, therefore there has to be a path that starts from the center. Asher. So, uh, adding on what she said, uh, that uh, you could start on the top right corner. <clears throat> Uh, you could actually just, all the ones we've currently done, you could just turn them right. Rotate the board instead of rotating our drawing. Yeah. Dia, what were you going to say? Um, that any part on the board would be a possible solution, but you just have wow. to alter the line. Fantastic. You could start in any square. So far we know you can start in this one, in this one, in this one, in this one, and in the center, or in this one, in this one, in this one, in this one, or there. I'm just doing the, taking the endings and going back to the beginnings. I seem to have gotten the same thing. There are at least five places you can start from. And your suggestion is we can start absolutely anywhere and just be careful. Okay, I want to take what you suggested, Dia. Do you feel pretty much in charge of this question right now? Yeah, Nathan. Uh, so I was wondering, could I show? Yeah, yeah, come on up. Well, you have to well, actually, you don't have to rewrite. Okay. Just do it four by, uh, two by two. What an interesting idea. Okay. For just a second. All right, so. Could you go like? You lifted your chalk. What? You lifted your chalk. Oh, you can't lift your chalk. You can't lift your chalk. Nevertheless, you can do what you wanted, I think, without lifting your chalk. Here, let me, let me just. I mean, you could. I was just wondering if you could use the star point and put, push it off two ways. Your question is, can you start? Actually, I could do it without lifting my chalk. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> watch out for this guy. <laughs> okay, I'll be much more precise. You're asking me to be more precise in my language. Without lifting your chalk and without going over the same line a second time. <laughs> okay, he didn't go over it. He just went right next to the line. Only <laughs> once. <laughs> Only once. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've just drawn that line 7,981 times. Haven't I? They're all next to one another. <laughs> I think, Nathan, you could still get your pattern. Yeah, without... you can still get your pattern if you do, do it. Oh, yeah, right. It, it's just, 
It's a question if you could go two ways, not one. Not Got you. That's a really nice other question which we should explore. Nathan's brought up a completely new question. Take a five by five grid or, or a four, two by two grid. Are there twofold, double paths that'll work? And if so, how many? In other words, instead of going like that, could you go like that and then like that or something like that? Interesting question. Yes, Daniel. You actually can if you have two pieces of chalk, <laughs> chalk which we have more than two. Or if you have two arms, because you have to have two hands for the piece of draw. If you're an octopus, you can do eight. Right. <laughs> yes, Asher. You could also program a robot to hold like, like three or nine pieces. Very good. I want to get back to something Dia raised. Going back to our original, um, whoops, our original five by five. Dia said, "Tell me if I'm if I'm quoting you correctly, Dia." That really, you can start from any square as long as you're careful, right? Um, I rethought what I said, but and any place that's like next to the corner, you can't start there. Actually, I think you could. What a fascinating idea. Let, let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, I'll, I'll try to be really careful in drawing this. You're saying, starting in a place next to a corner, where would you like me to start from? By the way, somebody suggested at the very beginning that we do something which would make talking about this work easy. Do you remember what it was? When I was counting the squares, when I was counting all 25 of them, when I was counting this way and that? Oh, you should go in rows. What, we'll say it again? You should go in rows. Like, like. Yes. What should go in rows? The way you're counting. There was something besides my finger that somebody suggested I do. You could mark every square you've already counted, so you wouldn't double count, but you could still do that. What do you want to mark it with? What? What do you want to mark it with? Chalk. Chalk? <laughs> Anything. I was thinking, Asher, of your question about is this all going to be geometry? Yeah. It, it could be something yeah. else. Well, it's not really geometry, but like, I, I mean, right. I meant like, hey, mm, equation math. Uh, what do you mean equation math? Go on. What do equations involve? Uh, numbers. What if I mark these squares with numbers? I mean, if you did that. Somebody said at the beginning, why don't you just I, number the squares? Like, that's like, it, it takes longer, but you could actually. I was thinking when I said that more about speed and not yeah. really. I know, I know, but I you think. Can, like, you can count by fives. I, what? You can count by fives. I'm good at it. <laughs> I, last time what I did was I counted in this way, but I could really be very regular and count like this. If I put these numbers in just to make it easier to talk about, when Dia suggested I start in a square next to a square in the corner, I guess she meant square number two. Oh, thanks for filling this in. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, Dia. So you couldn't start there because if you went this way and this way, Is this going to work? Yeah. Can I say yes. something about that? Yes. I, I can show you how you can do it. <laughs> if you start right here. That's great, Dia. Thank you. Pretty much exactly what Dia did, except when you go here, you could go like this. Well, actually, no, not that. Um, you, this. Oh, she's right. <laughs> no. She's wrong? Nathan thinks Dia's right, that you can't start from square number oh, two. I, I uh, Asher and then Daniel. Oh, you all got your hands up at once. <laughs> Asher first, then Daniel, then Samuel. I guess you could. I think Leia, you got your hand up? It's not in the way I tried. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> that, that worked better on my head than actually on the board. It's looking as if 
like, I, I just did one thing wrong, I think. <coughs> what, what is going on with the problem that Dia has raised? If he takes it over here, he can make it easier by, because he doesn't have to go like that. He can do it here instead. Sorry, it's Let's see. Track so are you saying two, one, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, ten, nine, so far so good. Mm -hmm. 14, 15, 20. And then you go to 25. Down to 25. Don't draw that in blue. Go ahead. I'm just going to go over it in blue so I can, because it's confusing me right now. Is this going to work? Yes. Uh, I can't. She's retracing the previous path, but when she gets to 20, she goes down to 25, across to 24, up to 20, 19, 18, 23, 22, 17, 16, I think I did it. and skipped 13. Yeah, I skipped 13. I that think was I a mistake. I yes, oh, yeah, Leah. Well, I have another way of doing it from the... Another way that's going to work? I think. Starting with two? Yes. Great. And yes. Samuel, you've had your hand up for a long time. Yes. Starting in two. Maybe you could go... Yep. Now what? You've left out 15. Oh, right. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have a question. Yes. Can you put the same line in two squares? What do you mean? Like, if there was one square, could you put two lines in there? Oh, no. No, absolutely no. not. Um, one, the line is a straight, steady line, and it never goes back in the square in a square it's been in. I mean, it's, it's not exactly moving back. Uh, what is it moving? Oh, I have another <laughs> Helicoptering idea. down. I have another idea. Uh, Dia. Um, I think I know a way it would work. What? You could just spiral it, kind of. Let's try a spiral. Go on. Go on. I, I have another idea, though. Go ahead, go ahead. It's similar to what I did. Oh, hold on. What about 19? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's that way into 19. It's exactly what you did. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Stuck again. Is this something wrong with our imaginations or with the problem? Uh, Leia. I think I've got one that can work. Terrific. And Dia, you think you have one. How about Dia then Leia? Ask yourself, what is going on? It was so successful. Starting from a corner with lots and lots of an even number of paths. And we can't even get one starting from square two started. Well, we can get it started, but we can't go on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're starting in two. This is going to be your spiral. <laughs> it was beautiful up to there. What is wrong? Why can't we do this? You guys are so I good. Think Why? We can't do it because the corner piece. Yes. It's just. It's kind of wedged in between two pieces. The but corner piece, piece is wedged in between two pieces. Is that what you mean? Well, except one piece has an edge, and you can't really go past it. Got you. Leia, your idea? Come on up. This is great, Dia. This is a really fascinating trouble we're having. I don't quite understand why we're having so much trouble with it. I mean, you guys now all know that you're really good at this. You're good at imagining, counting, you're actually better, I think, at counting than I am. And yet, just saying, can we start in the second square from the corner? Mine may not work, but it's OK. Well, try it. Try it. 
So far, so good. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five. It, it stops here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Stop for a second. Is it okay so far? Yes. Any trouble? Do you see any trouble in the future? You see trouble, Samuel. Where do you see trouble? When she gets to the top, she's going to end going to get the end of the line in the box right below, too. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Go ahead. So far, she's avoided that. Now, look what's happened. Look what's happened. You have a choice. If Nathan, if Nathan's idea that we could go in two directions at once, we'd be done. But we don't have that. We can only go in one direction at once. And you can either go up. You certainly are welcome to go up. But then you leave that out. You can go left, and then you flip that one. Why is it so difficult? Why doesn't it work? What's the trouble with us? Yes. I got away. Fantastic. Come on up. OK. That the, the old top of the castle. <laughs> wait, 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 just, just stick, stay around, stay around. I'll just, I'll just get rid of uh, that much, okay? There's no way you can get the room. You mean there's already trouble? It's, it's too late already? Leah, what do you think? Too late already? Yeah, Actually, no, it isn't. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> wait, can I check my paper? I think your idea was great. If you go down from here. Yes. Done. Well, but there's a problem. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> what's happened here? Well, this is, I'm not using this. Oh, okay. In other words, you've missed that square. How did I know that there was going to be a problem? Because there's been a problem in every other one. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> That's called induction. Um. <laughs> yeah, I saw Dia got a way to do it. Uh, uh, Dia, why don't you all say the minute you see a problem coming up. We start here. Anybody see a problem coming up? No. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so far? Okay. Okay, so far? Yes. Why is it okay so far? Yeah, yeah, say it, idea. You can go straight back. Okay, she, we know she's only got one choice when she's here. She has to go this way. And you choose to go all the way across. Everything okay so far? Is your grid six by five? It, it's meant to be five by five. It is five by five. No, but I'm, I'm asking her. No, it's oh. a five by five. Okay. Keep that idea in mind. Yes, Asher. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead with what you've got. Oops, you've gone in the square twice. Uh, you can't, you went in the square twice again. Um, you want to because you want to get to that square and that's the only way you can do it. And you're stuck. Yeah, you're just one square off finishing it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think I got it. It's interesting. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yours is five by five and you've done that and you... One, two, three, four, five. Shall we number her steps? This is one, two, three, four, five. 
six. I'm sorry, we don't, we, well, that's because I started with the number two in the corner. It still is five squares. I'm numbering now the steps instead of the rows. Uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, um, 15, 16, 17, I mean, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'm not sure we're ever going to get to that. Wait, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Ah, sorry, my board seems to have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's, it's six wide. That's interesting. When no, it was it's six. not six wide. It's broken by one of the lines. Oh, right you are. Right you are. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That line going through is that, it's just going to that one square. Has this worked? It worked might, on my paper. I, I might have. Take, take a look at Dia's paper. So far, so good. B by the way, one, two, three, four, five, by one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's one, two, three, four, five. No, wait a sec. Oh, I see, those are two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you go down the left-hand side and across the bottom, up the right, ah, you've gone into the square twice with this line and with that line. Oh, it was so beautiful up to there. <laughs> uh, 10 minutes left, how can this be? Can we do this for another two hours, please? <laughs> Let me ask you, a, yes, Daniel says, yes, 10 more, two more hours. Okay. <laughs> um, is it going to work when you start from the second square? I, I, Nathan, I, what? Uh, can I show you some, a way that I yeah. may be able to do it on the board? Yeah, please. Shall I erase this? Or so, I think our problem, uh, so this, it's basic, it's kind of the same as this, but I think our problem is that we have, we've been going across. I didn't, I didn't realize. So I was just estimating that that yep. might be the problem, because I like to estimate some That's things. That's good. But well, I liked your estimate of, of 100 a while ago. By the way, Asher, you asked a long time ago, is this going to be geometry? This might be arithmetic instead of geometry. I don't know. Asher and then Petra. I don't think this really counts, though. So, like. <laughs> Oh, ah! So far, that is the backward of something that I think Dia did. Mm. Now zigzagging. <laughs> Stop. You'll, you'll never get into the left. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Great, yes. <laughs> I've got a, a funny question to ask before Petra and Leah. How big is this board? Five squares by five squares. Namely, how many squares? Five squared. Five squared, true. What is five squared? It's 25. It's 25. What kind of a number is 25? Odd. A square number. It's a square number and it's an odd number. It's an odd number squared. It's an odd number. Can I go back to Nathan's two by two board? Two by two is what? What's two times two? This is very difficult, I know, but more or less four. I mean, you estimate. So it's kind of four. And on a two by two board, a board with four squares, can we start from here? Will it work? Can we start from here? Yes. Here? Yes. Here? Yes. 
Uh, Dia. And the reason the two by two works is that there's no square in the middle of either two corner pieces or a corner piece and a regular piece. Yeah. Wow. Well, a three by three would work. Too. So a three by three would or wouldn't work. Would. Three by three. So. There's that middle square. <laughs> trouble. <laughs> three by three is trouble. Five by five is trouble. What's 729 by 729? Trouble or easy? Actually, I got it. Trouble. 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 I, I, I did it from, well, actually, no, I didn't, so. Uh, I did it. Because I started from here. Oh, you started from the first square. No, this. Square. Oh, you started from the second square. I went like this, and this piece of chalk got. Oh wait, actually no. I yeah, right. <laughs> Starting from the second square oh, on an odd, odd number yeah. board does not work. Is trouble. Why, Petra? There probably is a way to do it, but it's hard to find. That's great. There's probably a way to do it, but it's hard to find. Asher, you're saying there's just no way to find it, no matter how you try. Five whole minutes. Uh, say it, Asher. So I'm just going to draw three by three. OK, good. So, so if you start from here, you can't really do anything about it, because there's, uh, there's always going to be this extra corner. And if you try to eliminate that corner, one of the middle pieces is not going to work. See. So here, right. it won't work. Right. Because you have to, once you get to like, once you get to the point where it's either a corner or the center, it, you're always going to get there. You have, to, you have to only go to one. That's so terrific. It's going to leave the center out or one of the corners. Is a 6x6 six six board going to work or not? It will yes. because it's uh And a 7x7? No. Right. Yeah, Dia, that's terrific. Um, if it's an even number by an even number, then it's going to work because, like, the reason... Because there's no middle square. There's no middle there's square. There's no middle square. So whatever you do, it won't cross that one odd square. That one what square? Odd square. That one odd square. On a 25 square board, five by five, how many odd number squares are there and how many even number squares? Um, yes? The odd number square, since it starts with an odd number, there's going to be one more side. There's always one more odd number square than even on an odd number board. And on an even number board? Yes, Leah. Five by five, it's not gonna work, but if this, I think it's direct. But I think, I think you're onto the hidden, deep structure of this problem. There's always an extra odd number square on an odd number board. And if you're gonna cover every square, you better start from an odd one, or you're not gonna cover them all, because there's an extra odd one somewhere in the center, or in a corner, or something like that. Yeah, so I'm going to leave a number on an odd uh, number of squares. Fantastic, guys. Leah, what do you want to say? Um, at the end of this, are we able to ask you a bunch of questions? Please do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to have any answers, but go ahead and ask. <laughs> what are those books? Oh, those are the books that Ellen and I wrote. The first one, Out of the Labyrinth, is about this approach, the math circle approach where we do math in the real way, with you guys doing the thinking, so you own it, it's yours. This is a way we invented with no textbooks, no tests, no quizzes, no being told, but being asked, and people working together the way you all did fantastically to come to the deep, hidden, underlying structure of the world. The other book, The Art of the Infinite, which is mathematics, because mathematics is almost always about the infinite, the <laughs> infinite number of possibilities. Um, it has 10 different problems in it, like this one, um, which lead you from confusion and chaos on the surface to deep structure that makes sense 
that gives meaning to the whole thing. <laughs> These are the people to afford. <laughs> we, have, we have 20 minutes for question and answers. OK, so how about Petra Usher and then parents. And parents. Petra. If you end on an odd square, you can do it backwards, and it will be the same line. So Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. Start on 1, end on 25 in one of our patterns. Start on 25, end on 1 in the paired pattern. Asher. Uh, actually, uh, the thing you talked about in for like what the art and the finite, why, basically why I made that, uh, actually, I'm pretty sure infinity is not a number. You're right. It's, it's like big and small. Infinity is not a number, but it is an idea we have about how many, oh, actually, I'm sorry, how, how many counting numbers are there? Um, infinite. I thought there were 10,981. Wait, how many what? Counting numbers. Okay. I thought they end, I thought the last one was 10,981. What, well, it's 10,982? Ah. <laughs> so anytime I name a counting number, you can say, well, there's one more. And that must suggest there are not a finite, not an ended number of them. So the infinite is hiding behind this. How many boards does this problem work on for any possible starting place? An infinite number, all the even number boards. And there are an infinite number of even numbers. Any questions amongst the parents? Parents, yes. Here? Are we going to do something like this again? You mean in the math circle? Yeah, like a like Oh, a maybe group. something, since you've already seen this, something beyond this. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so the answer is maybe. <laughs> uh, I have a question. If, uh, oh. Yes, yes, go, um, go ahead. In this setting, the beginning was just uh, you know, drawing. So everybody started on the same page. What happens when you need to use more mathematical notation or machinery that people in the class may have different levels of comfort with coming in to the circle? The kid should invent the notation and the symbols themselves. Why use the inherited, old-fashioned, clouded symbols? Make your own. I'll adapt to them. The world will adapt to them. If you don't like writing fractions this way, write them that way, or that way, or any way you choose, as long as you explain what you mean, you mean that many of those kind of things, that many of those kind of things, 11 of the 17s. Whereas this would mean 17 of the 11 kind of things. The numerator tells you the number. The denominator tells you the denomination, the name. So I have a question. Uh, one of the things that eventually happened was we switched from can you being a challenge of it, many of us in the audience heard, can you start from the second square as being, are you clever enough to come up with a way to start from the second square? And you know the process led to finally having to ask, can you being, can anyone? Is it possible? Um, <clears throat> I'm curious whether that is, do you, uh, having done this many times, do you, do you see that that is often a, a crux that yes. these things turn on? And I was wondering Absolutely. if you could talk about that. Absolutely, and it's a crux on which the math circle turns, a fulcrum on which it balances. Self-confidence and lack of it. One comes in as a human into this world, and after just a little bit of experience, loses one's nerve and says, if it can't be done, it's because I can't do it. Until you begin to say, well, maybe, maybe nobody can do it. A, a great British biologist, W.B.S. Haldane, in the 1930s said, it may not be that the universe is stranger than we think. It may be that it's stranger than we can think. Well, what if? This problem, what if it turned out we hadn't come up with a solution and we came to the conclusion that, well, we've hit the boundaries of human ability. We've hit the limit of our ability. As you gain in self-confidence, you say, listen, the world's my oyster. I control this. 
mathematics is made by humans for humans. If we can come up with a problem, we can answer it. Now, for those of you who know some history of mathematics, you know that what I've just said is a complete lie, because <laughs> in 1950, Gödel, an Austrian logician, proved that there are questions you can state and state very clearly and very well, which you will never be able to answer, which is devastating. Now, the answer to Gödel is not, oh, yeah, <laughs> but with mathematics as it's presently understood, with set theory as it's presently understood, that is a limitation. But maybe the trouble is with set theory. Maybe the trouble is with the way we're posing the problem. Maybe we just don't have our understanding of those relations deep enough, imagined enough yet. Why shouldn't anything be our oyster? There was a mathematician in the 17th century, an Italian named Vieta, who said, nulla non problema solvere. There is no problem that can't be solved, and so say I. Let me leave you all with a problem. This is not the end of the conversation, but let me just leave you with this problem, all of you, and email me when you have some ideas. How many corners does a 10-dimensional cube have? Think about that. Send me an answer. Three-part question. Good. Uh, first part is, are you thoroughly convinced that uh, the problem of starting the path on the second square is impossible for all odd by odd squares and possible for all even by even squares? Are and you asking if I'm convinced? Me? I, I'm as I might be asking the, the uh, rest of the class, oh, good. but... Um, <laughs> they shouldn't be, because we did in 40, 50, 50 minutes what's a deep, complex problem, and we haven't talked about induction, if that's mm. what's on your mind. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. Once, and this brings up an answer to a question someone else asked, when, when I guess at Avital, when the symbolism, when the concepts become deeper, when we come to grips with induction, which we could do in 20 minutes, we can re-ask that question. Can you generalize even dimensional boards? And how can you know that a 10,984 by 10,984 board you can start from anywhere on? I mean, it'd be really nice to say, listen, piece of cake. <laughs> yum, yum. You, uh, this is just a pretty practical question, not a very interesting question, but uh, I was curious as to why uh, you decided to start with a 5x5 five five grid instead of a 3x3 three three grid, because uh, it seems like maybe some of the conclusions the kids would have come up to might have been a little bit faster given the time constraints. So I was wondering if like, it was a creativity thing or like an exercise or I guess yeah, what led to that decision. Really good question. I started with something which I knew was going to be beautiful, easy, a piece of cake, and we'd all be tremendously confident, confident enough to look at a hard aspect of it that hadn't been thought of. Start with it one by one, and they would have run out of the room saying, what are you doing? Well, of course you can start in the middle of a one by one and end with in it. Yeah, OK. Or if I'd said 10 million by 10 million, they were so, I can't think in those terms. Five by five sounds comfortable. It turns out that the springs in that armchair are broken. And you have to, <laughs> you feel uneasy, and you get more and more uneasy in it, until it turns out, ah, oh, I know how to repair those springs. I understand how it works. But you need an accessible mystery. It's got to be appealing. It's got to be mysterious. We were asked to do a math circle in a prison. And we said, oh, love to do that. We'll, we'll do it um, next year. And they said, no, do it next week. We said, well, we're very busy next week. You're doing it Wednesday. So. All right. <laughs> so Ellen and I went home and thought, oh, God, what are we going to do? Well, we'll make sure our wills are in order. And we worked out a routine to have in the prison. It was a high security prison. If you've ever been inside or visiting, it's very frightening. The guards are much more frightening than the prisoners. All your belongings are taken away from you when put in a drawer, and there's barbed wire on top of the walls. Anyway, we were put in a room, and our guide left. And the room was small, and the people were big. They spend their time bodybuilding. 
There were 17, I counted, of them, and there were two of us up against the blackboard. They filled the floor. They were sitting on the floor. And we said, this is the routine we'd worked out. I said, math, it's awful, isn't it? Right on, they said. Ellen said, yeah, you know, they ask you stupid questions like, what's one plus two? We fell silent. Somebody says, three, what do you take us for? So, well, of course it's three. Uh, and then, they, then I said, and, and you know, they asked, what's one plus two plus three? And voice over there, six. And then came words which I will not repeat from the audience. <laughs> and while I'm saying this, Ellen is writing on the board one plus two plus three plus four, all the way up to 20. And I said, and then they asked you a question like, well, what's all that out of two? And a guy got up and said, that's what I hate about this math thing. They ask you a damn fool question that nobody could answer and get right. And even if they did, what would they come out with? Some stupid number. And we said, right on. Boy, is that ever right? Yeah. And then Ellen said, if only there were a, a, a nice way of doing it, a beautiful way of doing it. And they said, yeah, well, yeah big fat chance. And I said, yeah, if, if there were just some, you know, different way of counting it. Voice over there. You could do 10 bonds. I said, what are 10 bonds? Talk about new terminology. So, you know, 1 plus 9 is 10, and, 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 and 3 plus 8 is 10. No, you idiot, says this guy. 2 plus 8 is 10. So we got 10 bonds. Yeah, we've gotten several, well, four or five, 10 bonds. Then we've run out of 10 bonds. Someone said, well, you could make 20 bonds. You know, 1 plus 19. He said, no, we've already used the 1 and the 10 bond. Ah, oh, it's hopeless. And they're getting, they're getting physically quite restless, and we're sweating. And then a little guy at the back of the room who hadn't said a word up to that point said, I know this is wrong, but, which is always the preface to the insight. He said, I know this is wrong, but 1 plus 20 is 21, and so is 2 plus 19. And I said, oh, sheer luck. He said, no. Another voice says, no, it's not sure luck. They're all 21s. I said, what? What do you mean they're all 21s? Yeah, they're all, all of them are 21s. All what? Someone says, all those numbers, all those 20 numbers are 21. No, says a voice over here. All those thingies are, are 21. What do you mean thingies? The, the, the thingies. Someone says, pairs. <laughs> oh, all the pairs are, are, are 21. So I said, well, how many pairs are there? Someone says, there are 10, 210. <laughs> <laughs> High fives all around the room. Can we do another? I said, yeah, what's the, Ellen said, what's the sum from one to 100? Uh, it's uh, 5,050. Give us another. <laughs> we did this for a while. At the end, they said, what do you call this? And we said, math. <laughs> Start with something which is below, beneath the audience's dignity, and then hit them with the mystery, which turns out to be accessible. And they are slaves to math for life.